A proxy is a special server sitting between clients and server. But specifically, a forward proxy acts on behalf of the clients and a reverse proxy is a proxy that acts on behalf of servers, also known as a gateway. In this short video, I'll explain the importance of each and how they can help us designing our system. You can think of a forward proxy as a proxy for a client. In practice, what it means is that if a client wants to communicate with the server, assuming the forward proxy has been configured, when a client requests to the server, instead of going to the server directly, it will first gonna go to the proxy, that is the forward proxy, which is then gonna forward the client request to the server. It's almost like the client saying, hey forward proxy, communicate on my behalf with the server, and the forward proxy will forward the request to the server. When the server gets a request, it gets it from the forward proxy, and so it responds to the forward proxy, and the forward proxy will give the response back to the client. There are situations when clients are blocked by the origin servers. One common example is use of VPN. Based upon your country or location, certain sites might not be accessible. The clients can, however, bypass the restriction by using a forward proxy server, in this case, a VPN, which requests the content from the origin server and returns it to the client. The origin server doesn't know that who is the real client because it only knows the forward proxy server has sent those requests. Therefore, a forward proxy server can help a client to bypass firewall restrictions and conceal its identity at the same time. A reverse proxy, also known as a gateway, is a proxy configured at the server side. It appears to the client just like an ordinary server. Here, the client doesn't know where is the actual destination server. In the client's view, the reverse proxy server is the destination server, and all requests should be sent to it. The request flow or arrows here will look exactly the same to what we saw in forward proxy, but they mean different thing. Here, the client issues a request to the server, but if the server has configured a reverse proxy, the client request will actually go to the reverse proxy. Then the reverse proxy will forward the request to the server. The server is going to return a response to the reverse proxy, and finally, the reverse proxy returns a response to the client. The important distinction here is that the client is not aware of these two entities. The client thinks it is just talking to one entity, the server, which is actually the reverse proxy here. As you might have guessed, this mechanism can make the original web servers secure because the reverse proxy hides the information of them. Suppose you have a malicious client which is sending a ton of requests. The reverse proxy can play a role of load balancer. It can route which server handles which request and help in distributing load such that no specific server gets all the requests and taken down. And if you wish to know more, you can check out my video on load balancer in system design playlist. Reverse proxy can also filter out client requests that you want to ignore. It can take care of logging, gather metrics. You can also have caching of static assets such as images, CSS, and HTML in your reverse proxy layer. To summarize, a proxy is a server. There are two types, forward proxy and reverse proxy. Forward proxy is a client-side proxy where the server has no idea about it, and so, the forward proxy can help the client conceal its identity and bypass firewall restrictions. Reverse proxy is configured by the server, which the client has no idea about. Reverse proxy has numerous applications. It can act as load balancer, can cache static files, and it can also provide additional security to the destination server. And if you have found this video helpful, please consider subscribing the channel and give me a thumbs up. Bye.